Welcome to my channel. I go by Boiler Dan 1, and the 1 is only because someone already had Boiler Dan. So, uh, I purchased this myself. It's not uh, a gift from the company. I work out in my garage. I have a very small shop out here, and I have a hobby of building model ships. Sometimes, if it's cooler out, I'll open the garage door and work, and insects get in. I must be a mosquito magnet because they attack me. And the other thing is, sometimes flies will come in and they are just annoying. I even put up an old-fashioned sticky fly trap and it, it's not attracting them. So I'm going to give this a shot. We'll see how it goes. Let me show you up close what, what it looks like and then I will test it out in my garage. We'll see how it does. I purchased mine from Amazon and then when I was doing some research, uh, Mafiti is the brand of this particular one, but I think you'll find that manufacturers import this, they put their own name on it, so it, there may be several different brand names and it's probably all the same unit. It's a 20 watt uh, and it says it's for mosquito flytrap killers. So it did come well packaged. It, once I opened the box it was bubble wrapped inside and Amazon had put it in their own box also. It's fairly nice looking as far as how you know it's a, its appearance. It's got uh, a good weight. It's not too heavy, not too light. There are two lights and uh, instruction booklet. Realize you are working with electricity. You don't want to come in contact with any of the electrical grids inside that uh, terminate the insects. And so it does have this safety uh, grill on it so that you, you or children couldn't go in and touch that. But the cord is... A good thickness, reasonable length, so I'll be able to reach and plug it in. And you can set it on a, a tabletop like this, or it comes with a chain, which I'm going to use. I've already put it on, and you can suspend it from the ceiling. Be aware, this is for indoor use only, although it's the same technology that the outdoor bug zappers used to use or still do use. But this is only for indoor use. It says it's suitable for restaurant use. You are going to get a little snapping sound if you zap a bug and kill it. There's a small tray that will catch the insects and it's easy to remove and clean. On off switch, pretty easy. I will turn it on. And the technology, that's kind of uh, similar to a black light, but it's a wavelength that attracts insects. So we'll see as time goes by. I will keep track and show the insects as they get zapped. This should be ideal for my usage. I don't have that many that get into my garage work area, but I do hope that it will take care of the few that do get in. So let me get it hung up and we'll see how well it works. I want to mention that placement is probably important, although like I said, you could set it on a tabletop or on a shelf, but it also is accessible it gives insects accessibility from both sides. Let me decide where I'm going to hang it and we'll get my little review and experimentation underway. For the initial test period, I've suspended this off of the framing for my garage door. It does not open this far so it won't interfere with the operation or it won't bump into it. And it's within reach so I can reach up and simply turn it on. And I can also reach the clean out tray. I did not want this light facing outward so every bug from a mile around would see it and be attracted into my garage. So I kind of faced it so that the light is not uh, that visible from outside the garage. You don't want to attract the bugs in. You just want to zap the bugs that have gotten in when the garage door was open. Again, it is for indoor use, but when you do get a bug, it is going to make a little bit of a snap sound or a zap. Other than that, there's no sound at all. So it'll probably take a few days or several days or a week or two uh, before I start zapping bugs because I don't have that many, but it's going to come in very handy when I do have one or two that sneak in. This should be a good test. Good old fashioned sticky fly paper, the new Mafiti pest killer. I'll be back in a minute and show you the results. I don't know if you can see very well or not, but I just got my first fly, and he's right 
above my finger. There's also over this direction, right up in that area, either a mosquito or a gnat. This was day one. I had the garage door open for a little bit and I did hear a fly flying around. And I started to go in the house. I heard a little, just a slight tick sound. It wasn't noisy or loud at all. As far as the old fashioned sticky fly tape, it hasn't caught anything in several days. The good news is the Mafiti pest killer has passed the test. One fly, one mosquito.